I'm Denise with Artist Heart Paint Party. You have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love it little hat. You could be painting your bunny in. I just, so this is a pretty spring bunny and I think that nice, lighter, you know, softer colors look really nice for spring pastel. As big or as small as you want. Hey Nisi. Hey Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Sure thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly, but uh, I thought it would be cool and I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose. It might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. Well, hi, you guys. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart. I'm so happy to be here with you guys to create this fun holiday artwork. Yay. You can use any supplies that you have. I know... Sometimes you like to see the colors that I'm going to use. And look, I reuse this plate, but I have the primary colors, red, yellow, blue. You can have markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you want. Definitely have a pencil to draw with and maybe an eraser. I also have white and green and gray and black. Again, any supplies. I want you guys to use whatever it is that you have. That's what I encourage you to do. And you, of course, can change the colors that I use. So if you want to use different colors, use different colors. If you want the gift wrap and the presents to be pink, make them pink. Again, it's your artwork, so customize it however you guys want to. So I want you to use a pencil, right? So you can erase if you make a mistake. I use a black marker on camera so you can see it better. Now, once you're done with your artwork, you can go back to it and outline it with a black marker. If it's dry, you can outline it with a black crayon, whatever, a Sharpie, whatever it is. But if you're painting and you want to outline it, wait for it to dry or you're just going to ruin your marker. Uh, let's see what else. I, you know what, you guys, I was going through... Um, some of the pictures of all of our members and all of the people who have created with us. It's been almost two years, which I can't even believe. And I just wanted to show you tonight just a few. Look, look at that wall of artwork. Remember all those paintings? You guys, we have over 250 paintings now. I can't even, 250 paintings. Can you believe that? So um, it blows me away. And again, you can, what I want you to notice is one, their artwork to how different their ages are, right? And all the different supplies that people have used to create with. So it could be in a journal, in a notebook, on a piece of computer paper, on a canvas, right? You could do it with a group. So I got to remember where I left off because I want to get started, but I just wanted to show you and I have more to show you also. So I wanted to share that with you to begin with. But So you guys, I told you, I want you to use a pencil, but I'm going to sketch mine out with a Sharpie. My format is going to be vertical or in portrait style because I need more room to make my trees and put my presents on the roof, right? So I want you guys to find the middle area of your picture. And I'm going to do the rear view window with a horizontal line, curve around, up, over, and back around, okay? Can you see that? Is it perfect? No. Does it have to be? No. So this is going to be our rear view window. Now, I want you guys to draw a line up here and over, and then do the same thing on the other side, up here and over like that. Now, there's going to be snow on the roof, okay? So I'm just going to put like a little wiggly line on both sides for like snow off the roof, okay? And if you, you know want to add, we'll add details later. Let's do the details later. All right. Now let's do the outside of the car right here. So I think this is, I'm not really good at car parts, but I think this is called the fender right here. And then I'm going to put a little pile of snow here again, like it's sitting on the bumper, right? And then I'm going to do, so this is the bumper down here. I'm going to keep going 
And I'm going to put another little pile of snow here sitting on top of the bumper. I guess they had a blizzard, huh? And then we're going to curve around and back. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I didn't mean to do that, but guess what? I'm just going to curve it around. No one knows. It's our secret. I'm going to curve it around and I'm going to turn it into my bumper. There's my bumper. And let's do, at least I know the name that it's called a bumper, right? And then here's the tire on one side. And then here's my tire on the other side. And you could put like little squiggly lines in there if you want to make it look like the tread on the tire. Then I, this line over here is like a slightly diagonal line. Do the same thing over here. You could do the license plate here. It's a rectangle. Now, you guys customize it. You could put whatever word you want in your license plate. It could be your name. It could be Jolly. It could be Santa. It could be kind. Again, you guys decide what word you want to use. So that is totally up to you. But think about it. If you had a Volkswagen, what would you put? What word would you put there on the license plate? And if you want, you could put a peace symbol. So I'm going to do a circle and a line, line, line. Do you have to? No. Let's give them some tail lights. So line. And then I'm going to arch up, up, over, down, down. Line here. Up, up, over, and down. Those are the tail lights, okay? All right. How's yours coming? Now, again, before I add any little details, let's get the presents on the roof. Have you ever seen someone carry presents on their roof before in their car rack? So let's do a vertical line here, horizontal line. I'm going to do another little line right there. And then I'm going to put another present in front of it. Okay. And then... I'm going to put the bow. Do you have to have a bow? No, but you know, bows are cute. All right, we'll do one more present. So this one's going to be behind it. So I'm going to go up, over, down, put our little bow up there. You could put patterns on the boxes. There's the car rack here. So this line right here is like the rack that holds it on the roof. Okay. And then I'm going to just do a winding li line here for like car the lights, the Christmas lights. And it's going to go behind the snow. And I'm going to curve it around. You don't have to have lights. Or you can have your lights be just even different just does not have to look like mine so it's coming out from behind the snow here and then it loops back around so that's just the line like a curly q line and then you could add the little bulbs which are almost like little triangles with rounded corners so again it's just almost like a little triangle with a rounded corner and a little line connecting it to the string. Same thing, you can make your lights different colors. They don't have to be yellow and blue and red. Again, they could be any colors that you want. Use your favorite colors. What are your favorite colors? I'm just going to put a little more snow right here in the middle. Put another little light bulb right there. Put one over here. Put one over here. Put as many light bulbs as you want. I love lights.
And then we could do the tree. So the tree is the cars in front of the tree. So the tree is in the back. So I'm going to overlap it so that the car looks like it's in front of the tree. And again, it's almost like a triangle, except it goes off the edge. Like a topiary tree. Do you know what a topiary is? All right, and then put another one on this side too. Again, it's going to be as if the car's in front of it, right? Do your best. Don't worry if you make a mistake. You can do it again and again and again. Keep going. Just keep practicing. And again, if you want to just sketch out like the tread in the snow, just so you know it's there. You don't forget about it because I'll forget about it. If you want to put, this is like a reflection line in the window here. It's just like reflecting the light a little bit. Do you have to add that? No. Now, you could do the topiary tree all green. It doesn't have to be with white on it. But if you want it to be like half and half, if you want to sketch out that snow line, it's just like a wiggly horizontal line. So really the bottom half is green and the top half is white. And you could add little details in here. I think I got everything. What do you think? Oh, the word. What's the word? I'm going to make you guys come up with the best word. I'll put the best word in here. If you guys come up with something really creative and not too long, because I only have so much space that I have to fit it in, right? So here's what I want to do. You guys, I was showing you pictures if you were here in the beginning, and I want to share with you a few more. Let's see where I left off. Oh, here it is. Okay. Again, I love when you guys check in at Artist at Heart Paint Party with your photos. You can say where you're from. You guys can put it in the comments too. So if you want to comment a picture or where you're from and a word, what word would you like to see in the license plate? So this was sent to me again um, by one of the families last winter who created with us. And here's Holly Ann, one of our members, right? So she's been creating with us now for almost two years. So a lot of these people, um, again, started with me a couple of years ago. And I just, again, you can see a variety of materials that are being used. There's the Grinch from last year. And now, you guys, we have over 250 art videos. Is that crazy? I, I just can't believe it. I love her mermaid. Mermazing. Mermazing. All right, I'll show you more pictures later. I just wanted to give you a chance to catch up and check out some of our artworks. And I would love it if you guys shared with me again some of your artworks. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out, you guys, I like to paint from light to dark. So I'm going to start with my tail lights and I'm going to make my tail lights yellow. Okay. I'm using acrylic paint, but again, you guys can use whatever supplies it is that you have. Does it, can you see the yellow? So I'm doing yellow tail lights. Now, why would I not make them red? Because the car's red, right? And we want to have contrast. So I'm going to use yellow tail lights. Again, if I did red tail lights on the red car, you would not see that. Now, if you want to do red tail lights on a yellow car, but then would it look like Christmas? I don't know. But it's your artwork, so you do what you want. All right, so there's my yellow tail lights. And then I'm not going to do the red just yet because I want it to 
to dry. I want this to dry. Otherwise, if I bump into it, which I will, you know, I'm not the neatest painter. So I would end up with an orange car. So I'm going to give it time. But you know what I can do? I can do some gray. So you guys can use white and gray and make it like a lighter gray, white and black. Or again, if you have a gray marker, gray crayon, silver, that would be awesome too. I'm going to do the bumper here. That looks really dark. It's actually in person, not as dark as it looks on camera. So I just added a little bit of white to it. So it looks a little bit lighter for you guys. But again, it's just a gray bumper. If you have silver, you can use silver. And I'm really not too current concerned about staying in the line because I'm going to outline it. So do your best. But again, if you're going to accidentally go outside of the line, don't have a meltdown. And I'm just going right over that line, you know, because again, I'm going to retrace it at the end. The only reason why mine is in black to begin with is because you could see it better on the camera. So if I get a little gray in my snow, I can always paint over it white later. Now you can also, while you have the gray out, if you want to put, so I'm going to just like put, to make it look like ice, I'm just going to do some horizontal gray down here again i don't want to get my look at my little bear i'm going to move him because i don't want to get him dirty but my bear wanted to sit around with us tonight so he's cute but with my luck i'll get paint all over him so so look i'm just putting some horizontal brush strokes down here it could be ice it could be snow Right, it's the ground. Or you could just leave it all white if you want to. Just kind of randomly horizontal. Put a little bit up here too. Now, if you guys want to do, I'm still waiting for my yellow to dry, but if you want to do the background while we're waiting for this to dry, again, I want you guys to think about what colors your presents are going to be. So if you guys uh, want to do the background, another gray or a pale blue, but you, if you're going to use the background and the sky blue, then make sure that your packages, your gifts are a different blue or again, lighter or darker, but think about that as you're doing it. Okay. So I think I'll do mine. What do you guys think? Like a pale blue. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. You guys know that the sky is pretty much I need more white paint. Sorry, I don't want you guys watching me make a mess over here because it'll probably go everywhere. I forgot about the background color, which has to be lighter, right? So what do we think? We should do a light blue. I've looked at a gray sky all day. In Cleveland, the sky is gray a lot. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around my trees. Again, this is the background. Maybe I even do it a little bit lighter. That means I would add more white. Or if you're using a crayon or a mark, just use the lightest one you have. Watercolor would be good too. So that's probably a good pale color for my packages to stand out and the red car to stand out and the green trees. So that's what you always want to think about with your background color is the contrast you're going to have with what's ever in the foreground. That's what's in front of it. All right, so that's that side. And look, I didn't go over the ornament there, but I went over the ornament in other places, so I'm really not too concerned. And actually, I'm just going to go right over my bow because it'll take me forever to paint around it. But if you want, take your time. You do not have to keep up with me, okay? You do this at your own pace. This is live and recorded for any time. So again, you can re-watch it and take your time. I paint every single day, you guys. And so I do paint fast. But, you know, you can work on a painting for an hour. You can work on it for three hours. You can work on it for three weeks. All right, what do you think? We should guess what the what's in those presents. What's in the boxes? What do you think are in there? Art supplies. Paint. New crayons. Oh my gosh, I love getting new crayons. I love getting new art supplies. What else could be in those boxes? So I like when it's like different shades. That's why I mix it right on the canvas. Because again, if I put one color, it would be very flat looking, which is fine. But I like it kind of, again, uneven looking. I think it makes it more interesting. I like to see the brush strokes. All right, so that's the background. And, okay, so I want you to know that the license plate ideas, Susan said, Rudy, Noel, Star, Frosty, Bells, Jolly, and Joy. Those are all awesome. So I love those ideas. You guys want to see more pictures? Are you enjoying the pictures? Again, these are from over the last two years that we've been creating online. Let 
Look at all of Benjamin's pictures in the background. Ow! <laughs> Jenny. We somehow got a little carried away when we did the panda and we all painted our nose black. And then Jenny's mom mailed me a panda nose, ears, and a little tail. So cute. So very cute. Do you recognize any of these? I know you recognize Leona, right? One of our members. All right. I'll show you more later. Okay, so let's go back to our painting now. So now, again, I'm going to let the background dry, and I'm going to come back to the red car because my yellow is dry. If yours isn't, you can give it some more time. Again, you don't have to keep up with me, but I am going to do my Volkswagen Bug red. Do kids know that this is a Volkswagen bug? I'm not even sure if kids know that. They're probably like, what bug? I don't like bugs. Ew. That's what these Volkswagens are called, and they don't make them anymore. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. Did you say bless you? Thank you. All right. I was just thinking, what are popular gifts today? I'm not even sure. Like, are there still gifts that people try to get and then they all get sold out? I can't remember the name of the movie, but I know Arnold Schwarzenegger was it was in it when they all run to the mall and they try to get a certain toy and. They're all fighting over that toy. I can't remember. Mr. Jingle or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? Now, when I was a kid, the big thing was Cabbage Patch dolls. And boy, everyone was trying to get their hands on a Cabbage Patch baby. I think my sister Darcy had one. Now, when I was really little, like in kindergarten, the popular doll was Dressy Bessie and Damper Dan. And I, when I received Dressy Bessie, I was so excited and so happy. And I thought that she needed a little bath and her face was a little dirty. So I washed it in a puddle in a parking lot and her face turned black. I still remember that. And I don't think I was more than four or five years old. But I was really trying to clean her up and I just really made her a mess. My mom saw it and said, what did you do to your doll? I said, I washed her, but she turned dirty. And again, I'm really not too concerned about the edge, the line, because I'm going to re-outline it. How's yours coming? I'm just going to paint right over my peace sign.
I love red. It's a fun color. Oops, I just went inside the license plate. It's okay. Shh, don't tell anybody I made a mistake. It's not a big deal. I'll fix it. No one will know, but you, me and you. That's like the hatchback right there. All right, we're going to let the red dry. We can go to the green now. You guys can use pure green. You can make it lighter green. Don't bump into the red because you're going to end up with a brown. Green and red get brown. So just be careful of the wet red. And this one, you guys, I did with marker. That's why I tell you to use whatever supplies you want and share your pictures with me. You can put them down below in the comments. You can check in at Artist at Heart Paint Party, which is on my Facebook page. I don't think that YouTube lets you post pictures. I'm pretty sure if you're on YouTube, you can't post pictures. You guys can email them to me. Go to my website, artistyourheart.org, and you'll see my email. And maybe you do a light green and a darker green. Or it could be all one green. Again, this is where you decide how you want to customize it. You could put little ornaments on the trees. You could put a star at the top of the trees. So you see my, how my green is showing up against that pale blue background? That's why I made it so light, so that it's the trees and the cars stand out. So I wanted to have my background be really light. Now we got to do those presents. So we have to decide, are you going to do stripes? Are you going to do polka dots? Are you going to make them solid? Again, this is your artwork, so I want you guys to think of the different ways you can do it. You can turn this into a Christmas card. You can make it a Christmas tag for your gifts. You can give it to the mailman or the delivery guy, right? Let's see how many pictures I got left. Where did I leave off? I know Leona. Okay, this family. That was one of the very first ones we did with the tree. More trees. Reagan. Emma and Bella, sisters in the Florida Keys. Remember Brooklyn? This was our youngest artist that joined us. I thought you'd get a kick out of that.
look at that. I love how they created that huge um, artwork on the floor. And then they're working right on the floor. I think that's a great idea. And they're watching me. On, I can't remember which artwork that is with the hearts. They were, these guys, these guys were the farthest ones. This family, they were in South Africa. Remember that? We had Laura. Remember Laura? Zai and Holly. Uh, is it she? Oh my gosh. Oh. Do you guys know who that is? my family you guys so that's Richie and Deanne and my mom and me and we did a bear together and they all put on a different color beret and Darcy's not there Darcy could not make it that day and this this is Mallory and that and Mallory also goes by Mal Pal and I was trying to think of her nickname but it wouldn't come to me so and then when I flipped to my family it popped in my head so my family helped me a lot. They would come over and paint with me and we would have fun. So, all right, I'm going to stick with the original artwork and do my, my gifts um, blue, but you guys can do them. Maybe I'll change my mind. You can do them any colors you want to. Let's see how the blue looks. So again, whatever blue you use, you got to make sure that it's different than the background color, okay? And you want to make them different than each other just so they show up better. All right. And then the snow's over there. And maybe I'll take a little bit of blue and a little bit of green and make like a turquoise. Let's see. Maybe put a little white in there. I just don't want it to get too dark. Let's see. Yep, that looks different. Hopefully it looks different on camera. And that last one is stripes. You guys want to do stripes just for fun? Let's see. But you can, again, you can do stripes and polka dots. You could actually cut out real wrapping paper and cut them into like little squares and rectangles and then glue them down. For presents. Like a mixed media collage. All right, there's my stripes. I'm trying to see what I forgot. Now I could put a little, like I said, a reflection in the window here. So it looks like, you know, it's glass. A little bit. What am I missing before I go to my black? I could do the bows. Let me do the bows. I'm going to use blue. You 
You can make your bows red. Can you see that? I want to make sure that it shows up on camera. Um, let's do. So squiggly line like that. What else am I forgetting before I go to black? You guys know I like to use black last, right? Yeah, so we can, let me get the link if anyone wants to come on camera. And then if you guys want to share or just pop on and say hi, tell us where you're from. All right. I was going to do the black next and then I'll do the colors of the lights. Now, again, you guys can use a marker for this. Let's do the tires. I'm just going to do the whole tire black and then I can go back into it with some white lines for tread. If you want to email me pictures, there's my website, artistatheart.org. You can message me through my website. You can go to any of my social media platforms. You can text me, call me. I can go back into my window and just, so remember I told you I was just going to hide all my errors with my black outline. I need more black paint. Where's my black? Of course, I have every color but black here. I put it away. Don't tell me. Can you believe that? I put it away. I'm usually not that organized. All right, now I'm going to go, I'm going to do my, so remember I covered up so much of my Christmas line, the lights. So I'm just going to go back over that so it comes back. Goes behind the snow, over the bumper, over the bumper, loops around.
kind of like a roller coaster loop, little loop de loop up here. See that? Loop de loop. And then I'm going to go up, 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 and over there. I'm going to do another loop here. And up. So it's in the lights are in front of the gift and behind the snow. All right. What else do I need to do black? Oh yeah. If you guys want to do like, again, a little bit of the tire tracks in the snow here, you just add a little bit of tire tracks in the snow. You can even, again, go back into it with some gray, put some gray in there. Don't get stuck in the snow. All right, so I'm I'm just waiting a little bit to put my um, lights on because I don't want to bump into the black. But if you want to like add a little bit of a darker green, does that look black? It's supposed to be a darker green just to give your tree a little shadow, a little more dimension. Do you have to? No. Then I got to think, who am I going to give my painting to? Put a little bit of darker over here, too. Just gives it a little dimension. Okay, let's go back to the black outlining. Let's put this line in here. Do a line here, here. Do you like the black outline? Do you think it helps make it stand out? What do you guys think? Makes it pop out a little bit, huh? Diagonal line. Diagonal line. I can outline it here, cover up all those places I went outside the line. And over here. Up over the roof. Oh yeah, you could do the peace sign too, right? Go back to your little circle. And then split it in half. And then a little line here and a little line there. There's your little peace sign. Oh yeah, the car rack, right? That's what's holding the gifts on. 
the rack. And then you guys also can add some highlights into your tread, remember? Give it a little tread. So I'm just doing like vertical zigzag. Ziggity zag, ziggity zag. And then the bulbs. So use whatever color you want to, but again, red bulbs are not gonna work on the red car. So I'll do like here, I would do yellow. Can you guys see that? Because you would not see the red, red on red, no contrast. So I'll do yellow there. Maybe I'll do a yellow one over here. Two yellow one over here. But the red will show down here. Right? Because it's not on the car. So you can do another red one over here. And I could do a red one over here. And I could do a red one over here. So blue on the back, like blue lights, not it's not gonna pop as much as the red, but again, I can add a blue light here. Or else is there a blue light? A blue light over here. Blue light over here. We have some yellow. We do more yellow. You guys can use orange, you can use pink, you can use whatever colors you want to. Yellow, yellow, where was going to do a yellow light? I was going to do another yellow light over here. I didn't do the word yet, you guys. You forgot to tell me to do the word. <gasps> All right, so here's here's what I want you to do with your word, okay? Depends on how many letters it is. So I want you to count your letters of your word. Jolly, J-O-L-L-Y, five letters. I want you to find the middle letter. So the middle letter would be the third one, right? J-O-L-L-Y. So that would be the middle L. That's how you center your word. So you would just find the center, and you don't have to make it say jolly, but the center letter would be L. So I always start with the middle, and then I work my way out. So roughly in the middle, so I'm going to start with L. And then I'm going to put the other L. And then the Y. And then O here and J. So that's how I try to center my words. Otherwise, they end up going off the page, right? Jolly. But you guys use whatever word you want to. You can use any word at all. All right, you guys. So last time, here is my website, artistatheart.org. You guys can... Contact me, send me pictures, ask me questions, message me, call me, whatever you want, right? Ask for recommendations on supplies. 
and send me pictures because you know I love to see your pictures. So, and I hope you enjoyed seeing all the pictures tonight. And if you guys have any questions, this is the time to ask them for me while you have me here. So just chat picture uh, questions. I don't know. Let me see if anyone's on YouTube. Hopefully you guys can't hear me. Like sometimes when I do this, then all of a sudden my channel pops up. Yep, like that. See, look at I'm watching myself on YouTube. Sometimes when I do this, then also my channel pops up. <sighs> like that. I just wanted to see yeah, if anyone. Like that. See, look at I'm watching myself on YouTube. Sometimes when I do this, then also. <laughs> All right, I'm shutting it off. I just wanted to make sure there was no chat or questions on YouTube. So, you guys, I don't know if you know, I'm on Amazon, YouTube, Facebook, right? I'm on Instagram, but I don't do it as much as I'm supposed to. <gasps> Guess who's here? No way, Holly Ann. No, hold on one sec. Hey, Holly. Hi. How are you? Hi. Hi. Hey, Holly. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Hi. Here's my painting. Oh, it looks great. Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Hi. Do you have glitter on there? Oh, it's like a. Oh, it looks great. Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That was awesome. So um, did you see how Zai did different trees? Did you see her trees were like Christmas? That Let's awesome. see what they're still there. Hey, oh, please. Did you see how Zai did different trees. I want, yeah, thank you. For like I love those trees. All right. Did you see how she did pine trees, right? So that's what I mean when you can change it. And did you see how Holly Ann did sequins? So instead of doing the um like the black line and the light, she did the whole line in sequins. That was awesome. I think that's a great idea. So that's what I mean when I say think outside the box, right? Oh, look, look at my hands. Oops. So um, yeah, that is awesome. I love it so much. Pine trees. That Susan says, great job, guys. So that's why I say all the time, you don't have to do it like mine. You can easily do pine trees and um, really anything you want. I should actually... I love the sequins. I, I think I have some sequins here somewhere. I should do that. So that's called embellishment. When you add to an artwork, mixed media, because she's using a variety of supplies. I'm going to add the black line here. Right? So that's mixed media. So she's not just painting. She's using um, craft products and glue and embellishing her artwork. There, that looks better, right? Now I got a stalk in there. And if I want, I could go back into it and outline it. I always think it looks a little bit better outlined. You guys mix it up. Use what you have. Again, that's why I always say use what supplies you have. Think outside the box. And make it your own, however you want. So thanks so much for creating with me tonight. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart. Actually, we I said tonight, but you might be watching this recorded during the day. It could be morning, noon, or night, right? So we recorded live on a Friday night. And... Christmas is just around the corner. Are you guys ready? I'm not ready. I can't believe it. I just can't believe that it's mid-December. So you guys, I will see you again real soon. Thank you so much for creating with me. I'm Denise and um, God bless you guys. Bye.